eyes sharp tonight. Teamwork plans, I'll smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors? A man! Jackson Ellis. In living color. In the flesh. Large in charge. You name it, I am it. And like the phoenix, I have risen again. Yeah? See, because I'm just surprised they let you through those metal detectors with all that steel pulsing through those broke knees, Jack. <laughs> Classic tape. All set up and no punchline. You sure you know how to play this game, man? Hmm? Last time I checked, we weren't dropping set shots at the peach basket anymore. AI Howie, Jackson Ellis. Hold up, freeze frame! Money, whenever you need it. ATM is in the building. What's up? Okay, I'm confused. What, what is happening? Oh, this is great. There's like a horror movie there everywhere. And ATM. Smoke and mirrors. You might not see us coming. And you definitely won't see us go. Better check your wallet, son, because you just got jacked. Hey, who's your little uh, tag along gang, Tater? Looks like they got laws at the last week's Bieber concert. Bieber! Bieber! Man, please, with all this middle school trash talk. I used to study your moves coming up, Ellis. I'm gonna be like a shadow tonight. Anywhere you are, that's where I'll be. Ooh, looks like we got ourselves a player, ATM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First name A, last name I. From what we've seen, artificial intelligence pretty much sums up your whack game. Okay, well, uh, you better have all your money in the safe, ATM because this crowd's about to see exactly how two dinosaurs went extinct. Is that right? Well then, talk's over, little man. We're gonna make it our personal mission to make sure that every scout sees the tape of this here game, uses it as an example to show where your career went to die. Look, enough talk. Let's play. We'll be seeing you out there. Smoke and mirrors. Out. Okay, so that happened. Shh, man, please. They all talk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't fool yourself, kid. They used to be in the league for a reason. If we underestimate them, they will bury us. Greetings, everyone, from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm Blake Suniga with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. We have D-League action coming your way. And the real Boys, story tonight not. is the addition of AI to the Mad Ants roster. They'll need him to hit the ground running as they take on a very tough Greensboro team. And the swarm led by Ellis and ATM, the pair they call Smoke and Mirrors, they have an incredible two-man game between them. AI's debut, Smoke and Mirrors, oh yeah, we'll see it all right here tonight. Well, it's no secret that Demarcus Young has his sights set on a, on a larger stage. He'll tell anyone willing to listen that he wants to be in the NBA. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if he got there sooner rather than later. Now, here's Middleton. Clock at six. Here's Ellis. And too long on the shot. And the Mad Ants with possession. Shoots from 14. Calderon can't get it to go. Well, you watch Ellis play, and it is clear that he is a very tricky player on the floor. Every move he makes, he does with precision and purpose. I mean, sometimes it seems like he's winging it out there, but he knows exactly what he's doing with the ball at all times. You just gotta love watching Ellis play. And about one minute gone in the first quarter. Pass to Randolph. Calderon, shot from 12, misses off the left iron. For what's a routine shot, he looked a little nervous on the release. Here's Bishop, an easy two points on the layup. Well, you know that this offense is going to lean heavily on the smoke and mirrors pick and roll. And even though they do it with some flash, credit Ellis and ATM for being very refined in how well they can execute the two-man game. And that one's good, AI. Yeah, I think AI did some work on his inside game during his time in China. He's looking very confident in that area. Pass to Ellis. Back to 
to Bishop. Just five to shoot. For three. AI grabs the miss. Well, if you haven't read up on AI, the newest uh, Mad Ant, uh, he's been playing over in China prior to this. He's apparently putting up some decent numbers for the Shanghai Bears when he was noticed by the scouts. Here's the swarm with the ball. Trailing by two. Pass to Middleton. Unable to get that one to go. And Fort Wayne the other way now. And AI was on the Shanghai team. Got good minutes developing over there. Well, you can see that AI is a much more polished and confident player, Blake, than the last time we saw him over here in college. Just seems to have taken some major steps forward with his play during his time in China. I think being the go-to option really helped his development. Definitely. Well, most know Sheldon Middleton as ATM, and he prefers it that way. He tried explaining the self-proclaimed nickname to me once. Uh, something about needing money? I'm not really sure. To be honest, I have no idea why the name has stuck around with him. And the free throw, no good. Grace with the bucket. Great effort on the offensive glass from Grace. People think making the NBA is all about talent, but it's just as much about work ethic. And we know what uh, the Swarm offense is all about, smoke and mirrors. Ellis and Middleton are the engine for this team. Greensboro calls timeout. And for the last few seasons, smoke and mirrors have been a terror in the G League. Both ATM and Ellis compete with cutthroat attitudes. I love to see that. With their skill and aggression, they are a huge problem for opposing defenses. And they aren't an easy matchup for anyone in the G League with how they can score and create. Probably the best tandem we have in the G League right now. Now here's Peyton. Now here's Indra. Shot to stop the run. Peyton over AI. AI with the block. And really a big part of shot blocking is timing. AI showing that he's capable of rejecting shots. Well, you talk to anybody on the Mad Ants and they'll have a story to tell you about Howie Carter. Carter is very well liked on the team and brings a good amount of balance to the locker room. Very outgoing player who helps the team bond. Outside Carter. Pass to Boss. And he was camped in the lane there and he gets the three second call. The Mad Ants making a And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Middleton with it. He's covered by Tatum. Poked loose. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Swarm will retain possession. Six to shoot. To the middle. Beyond the catchy name of Smoke and Mirrors, both Ellis and ATM are known as trash talkers. Yeah, they will get in your face and let you have it if you can't slow them down. Part of dealing with the duo is just putting up with all the trash they're going to send your way. And that's part of what makes them so good. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Here's Ellis. Takes it to the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Those are very hard-earned points. Ellis, he has the skill to score inside, even when the D is ready for him. Now here's Calderon. Five points in the game. Randolph, his second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. A long time fans of the team know uh, Coach Keller, he's very fair to his players. Yeah, and he preaches three things, Tim. Discipline, control, and respect. Seems a bit of an old school approach nowadays, but it's a hit with the team and the fans of the Mad Ants. And we just love Coach Keller, he's great. Bishop, he's covered by Tatum. From downtown, 
Bishop no good. The Mad Ants leading. Here's Young. Yes, and it's AI picking up the assist. We're seeing some good ball movement out of them. Definitely. Ten of their last 12 points have come off assists. Well, so much of this offense is based on smoke and mirrors. And if you can stop them, you slow up the whole team. Yeah, but that's a lot easier said than done. Uh, ATM and Ellis have found success by going with what works for them. And if you take away one option from them, they're just going to find another way to hurt you. Greensboro with the ball. Bishop with the ball. He's got five. And the foul called on AI. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Schrader. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Just five on the clock. Oh, hammered, and he'll go to the line. And ATM actually played his way into the league by performing well at street ball events. And it didn't happen immediately for ATM. Took some tries before he was finally able to break through and get a chance, but he's made the most of it. And you really got to respect ATM for the work that he's put in. And he makes both free throws. The former USC standout, Middleton, he has dreams of making it to the NBA, and he's not giving up on them. To the wing on the left. Pass to call their own. Here's Randolph. Middleton defending. AI, good on the bucket. Again and again, they're, they're pounding the defense and creating high percentage looks from close range. And even under pressure in tight, they've maintained their concentration and converted their opportunities. Well, if you recognize Jackson Ellis, there's a reason. He spent some time in the NBA before coming here to work his way back. And Ellis is a guy who has his hands in everything. I think he's worked as a shoe rep in the past. Just a guy who is always around the game of basketball one way or another. That pushes it to double digits. They're doing a nice job of stringing together solid possessions and building that lead up. Yeah, and that's the key right there, consistency. They'll stay in control of this game if they stick with the game plan and don't waste possession. Absolutely. That's getting the job done. Powerful two-handed jam. And two more on the board. If he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. And the shot goes down. Belgian passing to make that basket possible. And we've reached halftime in this one. The Mad Ants on top, leading by 10. And we will see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball in just a bit. And now the third quarter about to get going again. You look at AI in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, I noticed more than anything about his first half, it really was about not wasting his opportunities. He made just about every good look he got. And they were pretty much all good looks. His shot selection has been phenomenal throughout the game. And he'll let you know it, but Jackson Ellis is as talented as anybody in this league. Well, Blake, confidence has never been a problem for Ellis. Even before he was teamed up with ATM, he was regarded as one of the future names in the league. Pass to Tatum. Over to the wing. Inside. AI again. What passing. They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Yeah, it's hard not to appreciate all the points they've gotten off of assists today. Just a complete team effort. Now here's Middleton. He's got nine. And finished off by Jeff Schrader. Just get Schrader the ball down low and he'll finish it off. Just a forceful dunker. And the one knock on Young, as talented as he is, he seems to get wrapped up in his own numbers. He could be so much better than he is if he didn't worry about how many points he was putting up. Hopefully that is something he matures out of. He's developed a lot of tricks over his career and Tatum's handle still looks to be NBA worthy. And the swarm call time here. AI really making a difference here. He continues to burn him up with his scoring. 
you know, the coaching staff, they're going to have to come up with a different defensive approach. And stolen by AI. Well, we know that AI came over via trade. Officially, it was for cash considerations, but the rumors say it was something more specific. Less of cash considerations and more of roast beef recompense. What I'm getting at is that he was traded for sandwiches. Not a high point for him, but I'm sure he'll look back at some point and laugh at it all, one would hope. Well, he, he should be using it as, you know, a means of motivation, Tim. Shot clock at six. Pass to Indra. Expanding his range. Bangs home the trifecta. Nothing but money for him to start the half. They're three for three. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Not too much to be said about Young, other than he's a standout player. Has an edge to him on and off the court. He can be described as Kurt at times, but hopefully he's just a player focused on improving his game. Now here's Goodwin. He has seven. Bishop outside. Left wing. Here's Goodwin. Nice shot from the wing. Well, it wasn't the shot they were looking for, but he still got it to go. Timeout called the Maddens. So both teams making some changes here. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. AI outside. High post, Connor Trigg, and stolen by Zadirko. They push it up. Now here is White. Daniels covering, and it's gonna be out of bounds. The Swarm will retain possession. So close to picking that pass off. Still a nice play though, to make sure the pass didn't reach the target. Now Peyton, he has six. Pass to Goodwin. Clock at six. Third quarter of basketball here, a little under three and a half minutes gone now. Off the mark with the little step back J. AI, no problem on the close range jumper. Well, if AI is a name that sounds familiar, it is because he had a dunk that went viral not too long ago. A couple of uh, showstoppers that occurred in an exhibition game against the NBA All-Stars. It was the biggest thing on the web. Now here is White. Fast to Goodwin. Fires for three. Rebounded by the Mad Ants. With the floater, and Daniels gets it to go. Masterful touch on the floater. It's fun watching Daniels get fancy from time to time. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They gotta score. Now here is White. Not a lot of room. Down low. AI with the block. And he recovers it. They recover it. Kept alive. Pass to Zadirko. Goodwin. And here is White. And the shot clock expires. Great D to stop him cold. to AI. Shot from the wing. And Jones pulls it down. Bishop outside. On the wing, Sheldon Middleton. Ellis. AI with the block. And he recovers it. The second chance effort. 
And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Tough to deter Schrader. Even when you hit him, he knows how to stay in control. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Tatum spent a good amount of time in the NBA, and you can see it with his approach to the game. Yeah, a decade in the NBA means so much, and it's something that never leaves you. Trust me, I've been there. And Tatum knows what it takes to succeed at the highest level, and that means as much, if not more, than youth in the game of basketball. Middleton, guarded by Young. Here's Fort Wayne. The lead is 15. Pass to Randolph. AI up top. On the wing, Paul Tatum. AI. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. And AI, the newest member of the Mad Ants. Who was a player they went out of their way to get? Coach Keller sees a great deal of potential in this young man. Now here's Ellis. Bishop with the ball. Now Middleton. He's covered by Tatum. Outside Middleton. Just four to shoot. Bishop over Tatum. Shots good by Bishop. As you said, Coach Keller specifically thought AI has exactly what the team was missing and was very vocal about acquiring his talents for the rest of the season. Yeah, and it's easy to see what Keller sees in AI as far as what the team is missing. AI plays with a lot of energy and has the potential to take this team over the top. Smart move by the Mad Ants and Coach Keller to fight for his acquisition. A fight worth fighting for? Definitely. Now here's Ellis to the middle. Oh, and a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. AI outside and stolen by Sheldon Middleton. And with ATM, surely his ability to move with his size is a handful to deal with. He is surprisingly nimble for a player of his size and strength. Tatum covered by Bishop. Pass to AI. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good, and he'll go to the line. And they're not going to get. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, they're not taking any chances. This is how you close a game out. Just look how happy their coach is. Shooting one. Good one with it. to the inside and slam dunk by Andre Payton. He always knows where his teammates going to be and he'll have that ball there waiting for him. Pass to Trigg and here is AI. Here's Boss, AI. The basket drops and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. At the line for your mad end. And the free throw, no good. When AI declared for the draft after his freshman year, a lot of people thought it was a mistake. And it probably was, to be honest. But I do think getting passed over in the draft fueled a fire in him. Pass to White. Here's Gaines. Count it! Wow! He got that! A big thank you to all the fans. And it's a win for the Mad Ants in the debut of AI. Strong game all around. And it is rare to see a team not get run over by the tricks of smoke and mirrors. But the Mad Ants were able to survive the tandem and get the win here on their home floor. And you can just tell that the energy of Fort Wayne has picked up with the addition of AI. The whole team seemed to play with a bit more fire. And we announced with more fire. But that's going to do it for us here for Tim Swartz and Brian Manipitemi. I'm Blake Suniga. Thanks for tuning in to this broadcast of Mad Ants Basketball.
And he just gave me the rock after the scream, man. Move it. <laughs> Give me a second. Think you own the court? You think you own this locker room now? Nah, but uh, I think I just scored more points than you tonight. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing tomorrow night, and the next, and the next. That's how it is? Whoa, huh? whoa, whoa. That's what you think hey, whoa, whoa, guys. Is that what you think is hey, gonna happen? Hey, 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 huh? it's okay, man, it's okay. I'm just trying to get under Marcus's skin. It's working. Two breaded pork tenderloins. Thanks, Joe. On the house, Paul. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. What is this? Breaded pork tenderloin? Come on, bro. This is an Indiana staple. It's also the only sandwich that can double as its own plate. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> yeah. Man, all the big food shows have been gagging to get a piece of this here right gone for years. But the you know, owner just shoots them off. Old school, Midwest, no desire for celebrity, only the work matters. Hmm. You need to stop letting Marcus get under your skin, boy. I mean, he's arrogant, but you're so self-conscious. You'll eventually lose. It's gonna affect everything you do in the court, and then you're never gonna get to the NBA. Oh, come on. We're only having lunch so you can find out how to get out of the city, right? Uh, look, I I'm sorry, man. Okay, I just... Only apologize when absolutely necessary. We need more ambition on this team. So what's it like, you know, like, the league? No different to this. Yeah, players are faster, they can jump higher, of course, still the same size. Better hotels. Mm. You wanna know how to get in? Deal with Marcus, you know, like make sure he doesn't mess up my chances with the scouts. Here's an idea. How about you see Marcus as not a rival, but more of a teammate? Why? He's not going to. I mean, like I grew up in Houston, okay? I was a Rockets fan. Do or die. That that was my team. You know, it still is deep down. But you, young players, you, you were brought up in the system. I mean, you probably traveled around the country you know, in camps and tournaments, and, and, and you were probably shuffled around by the AAU. It's, you probably never really had a team, right? The, the Lakers, of course. The Heat. Yeah, I'm not talking about respect. I'm talking about love. Okay? A love that charges you, feeds you, and that is the difference between a player and a legend. Show them at ends that you're not just passing through. You show them that passion, the, the appreciation. And I promise you, none of the time you spend here will be wasted. What's up? You're Paul Tatum, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at that, man. You still get recognized, and, as and you should. You're AI. Uh, yeah. Hey. <sighs> You, you guys, both of you guys are like my favorite player on, on the Mad Ants. Mad Ants? You a fan? I'm Zach. Zach Coleman. Guy, guys, it's the Mad Ants! It's the Mad Ants! Mad Ants! I told you it was them! Fans of the Mad Ants? <laughs> yeah, man, are you kidding? I mean, we watch every single game. This season has been so freaking exciting, dude. It's so awesome to know you guys are definitely going whoa, all the whoa, way. Whoa, 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 okay, let's just slow it down. It's long you, season. You're right, Mr. Tatum, you know, one game at a time, but man, AI... I've seen you be under way worse pressure, and you always come through. When you hit that baseline jumper with two seconds left to send it to OT in that tourney game you played, man, legendary. Ice water in your veins. <laughs> it's cute, man. <laughs> Speaking of which, you guys good? You need a refill? It's on me. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So you, you know about me. You know how I deal, huh? Honestly? If, if I can speak honestly. <laughs> Sounds like you can. I grew up in this town my whole life. But I feel like I know this world, man. I know the game. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. But I consider myself like a social media maven. I, I know how silly that sounds coming out of my mouth, but I'm serious, dude. Look. Let me see this, man. Oh, look, you got 50,000 followers? 
Yo, what did you say you did? 51.4, but everything, dude, ad campaigns, I boost the social media presence of all these local businesses. Right now I'm driving people to the Wayne Grove. I'm helping this small coffee shop down by the river. They're outselling even the big guys by the courthouse, dude. But even if they weren't blowing up, I would make sure they were blowing up. But sometimes, it's just great to support a product that you actually believe in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you know, a, a coffee refill would be good. About I'm it. really close to this business being big enough to quit this job, but enough about me. What about you guys? I mean, the Mad Ants and you, AI, you guys don't have a social media presence. Nothing comes up. I'm, you know, I'm been a little busy playing basketball. Don't worry, really I'm have not time saying that you show. should worry about it, but maybe I should be worrying about it, man. Ever since you threw down that sick dunk on Corey Harris in Shanghai, you've been a social media ghost. I mean, do you have a social media manager? Because I could be your social media manager. Or just your regular manager if you don't have um, one of those. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I don't, but um, thank you, though. Appreciate hey, that. Cool, yeah. cool. All right. Think about it. Do I still think about it? Yeah, of course I still think about getting that mid-season call to be the 12th man. And I'm always going to think about it. Maybe I'll get that one last ride. But you wanted advice. Be here. Now. Don't worry about what's coming. You're good to Fort Wayne. She'll pay you back in full. <laughs> Did the coach play <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. You saw them at the diner. Okay, we are kings around here. And yeah, sure, everyone in the NBA is a king too, but... Here it's, it's, it's different, you know? It, it's like your family's filling the stands in the high school gym. It's just a couple of farm boys playing one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, what do you say to a couple of kings taking on the common folk in a game against the barn door? Hey, y'all need two more? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's on, brother. Chicken alert. Oh,
Chicken alert. Chicken alert. Five ten. Here we go. Check. Here we go. Ball's live. Hey, y'all want some more? Really need to be there the whole time. Oh, this is so bogus. We already have three road games coming up. Now we got to deal with this. What's going on? Uh, directions to the Indiana State Fair. Charity booth again. Coach says we got to take shifts, man, to meet and greet. Says we're with the Pacers group. Dude, we'll be lucky to get near the cheerleading section. They do this every year. The Pacers get a choice position between the Ferris wheel and the Gravitron. They stick us at the end of the corn maze. I mean, it could be fun. You know, meet with some local fans, make some new ones. All my time in Shanghai, I never even left my apartment. Uh, fairgrounds are nowhere near Shanghai, man. <laughs> I know. No fried chocolate brownies in China. Hey, who are you and what have you done with AI? State fair, right, guys? Isn't this fun? This is so fun. Oh, I'm having the best time. All right, step right up and get your picture taken with the Mad Ants. The Mad Ants, right here. <sighs> okay, don't worry, guys. Stay positive. We'll get some takers. We'll get some takers. Anybody want a picture with the Mad Ants? No? Okay, that's not cool. <gasps> okay, be quiet. I think I hear somebody in the corn stalks. Oh, no, it's just a nest of rabbits, Coach. I've been fooled twice already. Rabbits? Really? How'd they find their way out of the maze? Hey, you know what? You're starting to bum me out with that negative attitude, AI. I think you gotta look on the bright side. We're all having fun here. Speaking of which, Coach, uh, no one's come out of that maze for like two hours. Is there a point we should be like, worried? Oh, people can get out of there. I mean, I was stuck in there one time for 24, 48 hours, but eventually I ate my way out of there. You can eat as much corn as you want. That's the cool thing. Hey, maybe that's something we could all do. We could all go in there as like a team building exercise, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Where, where's, Howie and Paul. Uh, I think they went up front to see how much long until the fair was over. Until the fair's over? Until the fair's over? Okay, now listen up! I'm sick and tired of people asking when the fair's gonna be over! We're all here to have fun! I'm having a great time! We should all be having a great time! <laughs> Sorry. Shouldn't have yelled. <laughs> Should not have yelled. Hey. Hey, hi. Here come some people. All right, put your smiles on. Let's get some pictures. Go on, you're up. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Sorry I yelled at you. Ooh, ooh, hey, they said that there was a deep-fried butter booth around here. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm uh, Hey, guys, did you, uh, <laughs> want a picture? Uh, yes, oh my god, that'd right. be so amazing. Let's do it. Thank you. Awesome. Here, uh, here let's bring it in, come on. Yeah, like, from over there would oh, be really yeah. great. Oh, Thanks. just, this just you guys. This is my good side. Wait, no, this side, okay. <laughs> Hashtag coinbase. Hashtag grateful. <laughs> Got it. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Oh, don't use a filter that makes my face look like old carpet. Oh, that's not the filter. Oh. Yeah, you're <laughs> Yeah, real funny. I'm not talking to anyone for the rest of the day. Oh, come on, man. Look at it like this. <laughs> if we lose tomorrow, it'll only be the second most embarrassing thing to happen to you this week. Really, coach? I'm just joking. Yeah, I need to go to the bathroom. Which one are you going on? Corn maze. The corn maze is not a bathroom. Little help there, big fella? 
Wow. Nice throw. Crisp chest pass. Old school. I like that. I like that. that feels like you might have the skills for a little ball. No, man, I'm good. I know you're good. I can tell you have the look of a winner. What I'm asking you to do is prove it now and sink some shots. What do you say? Look, man, I, I know your moves, okay? Ball rolls to my feet, you get my attention, you flatter me. Look, I appreciate you. Okay, 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 look. I can tell you're a man of uncommon intelligence and savvy, so for you, my best deal. Check it out. Three dollars, four balls. Thank you, man. Oh, come on, man, get a prize. The girl you're trying to impress here. <laughs> you heard him. Impress me. Uh-oh, <laughs> the gauntlet is thrown. You, uh, you want me to sing some shots, huh? Uh, mainly I'm just trying to score that stuffed elephant that's hanging on that back wall there. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You sure it's, uh, not the green one? I mean, I know it's smaller, but I don't know. Something about those eyes. Okay. Uh, I kind of see it. There's something there. An underdog. Let's get it. Okay, great. You got to sink four shots in a row twice to get that one. Oh. Oh, such a, such a tall order. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say y'all were working me for both sides. <laughs> the shot clock's ticking. Let's both shoot. When we shoot together, then uh, she gets a green one. Does that work for you? In the name of love, here we go. <laughs> all right, all right. One down for the lady. <clears throat> Not bad. Back to me then. And the gentleman gets on the board. Okay, okay. Yeah. We've got a player here. <laughs> mm. Tough luck. Not as easy as it looks. Wow, you ain't playing. Another make for the lady. <laughs> okay, I see you. Another one for the gentleman. And the lady keeps the pressure on. She certainly does. Tough luck, boss. A nail biter. But in the end, a loss is a loss. Open for another go? Nah, that's it, man. I know when I'm beat. You got a real shot. <laughs> I'm impressed. And I don't know what happened to me. It's my job to make those, man. I must have been nervous. I'm thinking less about the nerves and more about the elbow flare on your release. <laughs> oh, okay, so you are a ringer then. I mean, let's just say I'm a firm believer in the fundamentals. All right, see, that sounds like something that only a player would say. So what's the real resume here? Huh? <laughs> uh, I was a starter in high school and bench warmer in college, which coincidentally is also the name of my still unwritten memoir. <laughs> what about you? What's uh, making the shots a part of my job thing? I'm a mad ant. It's the uh, local basketball team in the G League. Yeah, no, I I'm aware of them. I've been to a couple games. I just, um... Yeah, I don't recall reading about how the ants were signing a player with frayed nerves, though. <laughs> okay, shots fired. <laughs> wow, throwing shade at a total stranger on day one. Okay, I see you. Um, my friends and enemies call me Nikki. AI, nice to meet you. Yeah. Whoa, 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 where have you been, Smiler, huh? <laughs> Playing carnival games? Yeah, everyone was saying you needed some alone time after Coach cut through your paper-thin skin. Oh, uh, their words. All right, for your information, gentlemen, you were looking at a man who has just secured a date. Oh, oh. no! With a carny? No, not with... Oh, the... you, do, you don't want to mess with that, man. They're transients, squatters, and they know how to work the fringes of the law. You can't get rid of them. Right, I promise, me. one of these days, you're going to make a joke for laughing at Howie. I promise you. I'm going to shake your hand when you do. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was a joke. Yeah, but let's just call it a cautionary tale. Hey, Zach. It, it's Zach, right? Yeah, AI. Hey, how you doing, man? Dude. Good to see you. 
So right after you left, I got to thinking, what if I could cut together some clips from some of your sickest plays over the last couple of years and make a sizzle reel? Now, there's not a whole lot online, but I was able to track some down. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> Man, where did you find all this? Man, I just told you I made it. Wait, you made this just since we met at lunch? Yeah, it doesn't take long. Rip some clips, editing software, add some music, done. And you can put all this on social media? I can make this set fire to social media, like crash sites. Maybe not actually do that, you know. I have this problem with overpromising. I'm trying to catch myself when I start to do it. But we're doing pretty good so far, man. 1,500 retweets already. People are taking notice. We're gonna make them take notice, dude. You give me a couple days. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, would you like to be my new social media rep? Full time? I mean, don't get ahead of yourself. Also, I can't get ahead of myself since I can't really afford full-time, so... Hey, no worries. I'm gonna be working all the time anyway. All right, well, come to the game tomorrow, then. I will be there, and maybe try and hit some stuff to help me diversify the reel, like assists. Maybe a triple-double? I'll see what I can do. All right. <laughs> all right, baby. Hey, come to the corn maze with me. Yeah, I hear it's a totally different experience if you go through the exit and the corn's kind of looking away from you. How are you? It's very, very awesome. Come on. Tay-Tay, you come, too. You can come. Oh, he did not just call me Tay Tay. Surprised you made it on time. I'm always on time, baby. Gotta make sure I'm ready to put on a show for the fans. Yeah, I just figured your new PR guy have you doing a couple radio shows and TV shows this afternoon, talking oh, yourself up. Oh, man. Look who just rented a condo in your headspace. Hey, look, if you're not careful, I might just buy the whole building. <laughs> okay, so you got jokes, huh? You ever get tired of hearing your own hustle? And there it is. My first down payment. So it's all you now, huh? Just you and baby Zuckerberg? Zach's on all the Mad Ants, all right? This exposure's good for all of us. We all win. The Mad Ants aren't going anywhere. He needs to just focus on looks from the league. Everything else is a waste of time. So what, you think that he's going to help you with the scouts, no. too? I know he's going to help you. But you're in my way. Have you heard about Vlad? Nah, who's Vlad? The Romanian guy on the Nets. They just brought him over. Vlad the Impaler? I didn't see a Vlad on the roster. Their center. Andre Haji? Right, yeah, but uh, they call him Vlad the Impaler. Hey, man, don't sweat it, Howie. Whoever he is, we got this. Oh, you know something I don't? Yeah, yeah. I read up this morning on Wayne Hoops HQ. 
the block called us out, saying that the key to this game is neutralizing Haji. And the only way to do that is to get everybody involved, so that's what I'm going to do. Are you looking to get a triple-double? <laughs> I'm looking to win, baby. Win. Hello, everyone, from beautiful Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm nice Blake Zuniga, game, huh? alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. We've got Mad Ants basketball for you as they take on the Long Island Nets. And, of course, the player to watch out for in the Nets is Andre Haji, better known as Vlad the Impaler, a monster of a big man that is a top talent in the G League. And with Vlad on one side and AI and Marcus Young on the other, you can expect a lot of beautiful basketball being played. Well, the Mad Ants will have their work cut out for them. We'll see if they're up for the task as this game unfolds here tonight. And for Long Island, Vlad is the star of the team, but to top to bottom, they have talent. Absolutely. They provide a tough matchup for teams because they can run so many sets from inside and out. Reminds me a little bit of how the Denver Nuggets are constructed. Yeah, great point, Brian. A nice fast break from start to finish. And what a finish it was, guys. Just so pretty. The pass, the dunk, everything. Now here's Haji. Over AI. Takes the 12-footer and hits. And with Vlad the Impaler, they really run the offense through him. Every set this team has makes the best use of having an elite center in the middle. Haji is a great presence on the floor, and it's no surprise they built the offense around him. Took advantage of some shoddy D there. They've got to at least get a finger on him. And we're just about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Here's Haji, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, but he'll shoot two. And the massive size of Haji is intimidating. Sometimes defenders feel overwhelmed trying to deal with him. First trip to the line for him here. And Andre Haji, better known as Vlad the Impaler, he is a handful of a center. Does everything you want from a big man, including scoring, defense, and setting up others on the offensive end. He can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Yeah, fans are disappointed. You see him? Well, I think he did plenty of damage. It was only with one hand, but he threw it down pretty hard, just the same, if you ask me. And now here's Haji. Nelson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Tatum. Nets keep it alive. Haji, no good. And the head coach of the Mad Ants, Gordon Keller. He's a back to the basics kind of coach. He's gonna drill the fundamentals and accountability to this Mad Ants roster from the first whistle to the final horn. And Coach Keller not one to mince words with what he expects. Absolutely not. If you're playing for Coach Keller, you're going to be sound fundamentally. And that structure he brings is crucial for players in the G League who are really looking to shore up their game. Now here's Kelsey. Over to the wing. Fade away. And he misses it off the right side of the rim. Up top, Young. To the inside. And that one's good. Tatum. Well, if you ever had the chance to talk to Paul Tatum about basketball, you can really just tell how passionate he is about the game. You pick any topic about the sport or any part of the game's history, and he'll chew your ear off about anything until the sun comes up. Now here's Haji. Sinks the 15-footer. A confident scorer. When Haji is draining those mid-range Jays, it helps open the floor up for the rest of his team. Pass to Calderon. To the paint. Here's AI. Drops in the layup for two. And guys like Tatum, who have been in basketball so long, sometimes they can lose the drive. Yeah, and it's natural to get burnt out by any profession when you do it so long. That just isn't the case with Tatum, though. When he starts going on about basketball and what it has meant to his life, it's as heartfelt as any love song. And I love a good love song, Blake. Just a true basketball life for Tatum is. He's got too many easy buckets coming from inside. And 
wanted to put a stop to it. I would think so. I would think so. If they keep giving up the kind of easy looks inside and that they have been, they're in big trouble, too. And they've got to change something up. Let's see what they do. Now, here's Russell. On the wing, Brad James. Down low, Mack. And the jam by Milan Mack. Explosive leaping ability. That was pretty. And he just has the effortless knack for getting inside. It's almost like his home is the paint. Yeah, and if the painted area is his home, then he's sure living comfortably. I mean, you'd hate to be the guy tasked with guarding him. Howie Carter, not the most impactful player on the floor for the Mad Ants, but he is a valuable member of the team. Oh, absolutely. He can give them a spark on occasion, but he's one of those glue guys. Fantastic chemistry with the rest of the team, and he just knows his role. And the foul on Boss. That is his first foul of the game. And the Nets with possession here. Nine-point game. Now, here's Russell. He's covered closely. Clock is at three. James can't hit. Beyond the arc! The shot that time, not on target. So Long Island will take it the other way. Now, here's Russell. Defended by Carter. Carter picks one up, and he makes the first. Both good at the line. AI outside. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. What a gamer this guy is. AI doesn't get rattled even when the defense roughs him up. To the middle. Here's Mack. And it's stolen by Madison. Here's Daniels. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so the first quarter in the books. The Mad Ants on top, up by nine. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move into the second. And uh, guys, what's your take on the Mad Ants so far? Quite simply, it reminds me of me and my day. A great display of team basketball, Brian. Yeah, this is five guys working as a unit. Just beautiful team basketball on display from them. One thing you have to admire about Coach Keller is his commitment to having the team stay involved with the community. When you create an atmosphere like that within a locker room in the surrounding city, you get more than the sum of your parts. Keller inspires his players by really making what they do larger than the results on the floor. To the inside, AI, and he uses the glass on the layup. And AI and the rest of the Mad Ants were involved uh, in some community work recently. They had a booth at the State Fair. You just have to love that the team is willing to take time and meet fans on an individual basis by having a booth at the fair. It just takes a day for the players, but goes a long way in developing ties with the community. Knocks it loose. Haji with the steal. Here's James. And then Brad James with the dunk. Excellent situational awareness. Leaves someone open around Nelson, and he's going to exploit it. And with Marcus Young, perhaps the first thing you notice about him is the killer instinct on the court. Young is a player that is always looking to exploit a weakness or to catch a defender slipping up. Sometimes he'll get too focused on that aspect of the game, but I'd say it's worked well for him so far. The first free throw is good. And after not being selected in the draft, AI has humbled himself. Knows he has to prove his worth. 
Another trip to the Stripe Forum and a little bit of a different feel here in the second quarter, a little more banging. And that's serving them well, seeking out contact and putting pressure on the defense. And the basket by Price. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. And I know nobody likes a traffic jam, but this defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Yeah, nobody likes a traffic jam. We can agree on that. They can't allow the offense to get those high quality looks inside. And when Young is on the floor, you know he is gonna be a threat to score. Offense just comes so easy to Young, and he knows it. You hope he finds a way to expand his game, but so when you need a bucket, he is such a good option to have. And two for one opportunity here if they want it. And if I'm them, if I'm in their seats, if I'm on the, on the bench in the game, I go for it. James with the ball. Pass to Fresh. Five on the clock. Shoots over Grace. And it's Fresh missing. Well, it has been said time and time again, but it doesn't make it any less true. The state of Indiana loves their basketball. And it's one reason why a team like the Mad Ants can have such a devoted fan base. It goes across the entire state. It's in everyone's DNA. Deflects the pass. Here's the break. And here's Marcus Young for three. The clock runs out and we're heading to halftime. Mad Ants ahead, leading by nine. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. And now the third quarter about to get going again. You look at AI in this game. He's been everywhere. He's played a very smart game offensively, looking for finding the gaps in the defense to get the best shot possible. Yeah, the way he played that first half, well, that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient on offense. Count it. Good. He's got a really quick trigger from that range, but he senses the defenders are backed off. Pass to Haji. And the jam by Andre Haji. And the Mad Ants looking to have AI spend a lot of time on Vlad here. Well, these are the kind of games that the Mad Ants acquired AI exactly for. He gives them a great shot to at least slow down players like Vlad and gives his team a chance to win. Here's Kelsey. About one minute played here in the second half. Haji shots good. A wonderful inside score. Really like an old school big man. You gotta like watching Haji do his thing down there. Back to AI. Out to Tatum. Pass to AI. That's short off the rim. The Nets trail. To the paint. Here's Joseph. That's good, and so Ted Nelson with the assist. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start this second half. Now here's AI. Knocked loose. And so it looks like the Mad Ants will retain possession here. And here are the Mad Ants. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Well, I'm not sure, Brian, if you, you caught the local news, but apparently some of the Mad Ant players played a pickup with some of the locals. Yeah, a sight to see for sure. I believe it was AI and Tatum in a two-on-two -two game. You know, small things like that are what makes this team so endeared in Fort Wayne. Yeah, they really love them out here. They're three of four to start the second half. Back to Carter, AI. Haji covering. Here's Randolph. Long Island with the rebound. Well, he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. Now, here's Russell. He's closely guarded. Haji gets the bucket. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. AI outside. 
And foul called as he misses and will shoot two free throws. It's going to go on Andre Haji. And of course, AI, a name that uh, might sound familiar to college hoops fans, had a good run, a big game in the Sweet 16, but uh, ultimately the team came up just short. Still showed some great potential in what was his final year. And here's Russell. AI grabs the miss. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. It certainly wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap. Fires the three. And he's good on the three ball. And you cannot overcommit if you're the defense because Daniels will burn you often when this happens. Now a timeout called by Long Island. The Nets making a switch here. The Mad Ants with the lead. Pass to Tatum. Inside, AI uses the glass to finish the layup. You know how things get around here in Fort Wayne. When the Mad Ants play, the entire city pays attention. The whole city shuts down as they love to support their local G League chapter. And here is Odom, guarded by Calderon. And here is James. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Randolph. A rebound by Marcus Young. And you can see the respect and commitment both the fans and the Mad Ants show each other. Yeah, it's great to see. And a lot of G League teams might not get the recognition they deserve around the country. But look, that is not the case here in Indiana. The Mad Ants are the story around these parts. Very passionate fans who really love this team. I mean, Indiana loves their basketball. Yeah, no doubt. So Long Island going with almost an entire new group here. One minute in now to the fourth quarter. Pass to Haji. Good D by AI. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebounding, Tim. They haven't allowed many second chances. It's been one and done for the most part, and that's helped them build this lead. And Paul Tatum, a Houston native, grew up in that area. And Tatum was a huge Rockets fan growing up. You talk to him, and he'll tell you his love for the game all started with him watching his hometown team as a kid. Yeah, watching a little T-Mac, a little Yao Ming. Haji, good. And this is all you can do. When Haji makes this shot, just got to tip your cap to him. Tatum, defended by Nelson. Outside, Young. Pass to Calderon. To the middle. And it's blocked by Andre Haji. And shooters beware. Whenever Haji is roaming nearby, he's capable of swatting it away. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. And the shot is good. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Outside Kelsey. Pass to Haji. That shot off. The Mad Ants go the other way with it. Here's AI. Fuck it is good. They're not rotating quickly enough on defense down low. They've got to provide more resistance inside. And a line for your Mad Ants. AI. Shooting one. Here's Long Island now. They trail by 14. Pass to Haji. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Using his height well on the glass. The Romanian superstar is fantastic at reaching out and snagging second chance opportunities. Poked loose and stolen by Joseph. Now here's Andrews, guarded by Calderon. And here are the Mad Ants. Pass to Randolph. 
Young to the inside. Here's AI, and it's blocked by Andre Haji. Outside Andrews. Here's Haji, guarded by Young. Haji's shot is off. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. Haji with the steal. Outside Kelsey. Pass to Haji. And the bank shot is good. Recognizing the overcommitment, Kelsey knows it's his responsibility to get it to his open guys. Timeout called the Mad Ants. We played just over three and a half minutes now in this fourth quarter. Young gets the bucket. So they have to keep Young pretty bottled up there, but it's uh, tough to keep him from converting no matter how tight you are on him. He's got a great scoring instinct. Pass to Haji. But they recover it. Nelson outside. They get the rebound. When it comes to offensive rebounds, it's about effort. Joseph showing he wants it more than the others. Tatum defended by Nelson. That one falls. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now thanks to the spurt that they're having. And why put on the brakes now, Tim? I say just keep on firing. Man, Brian, you want to run up the score? Here's AI. Randall, great positioning on the putback. This game's over, guys. I think uh, we can say that with certainty. Yeah, we'd like to officially welcome everyone to Garbage Time. Welcome, guys. Timeout called the Nets. Both teams will make substitutions. And there it is, the final whistle, Matt Ants win. Fantastic performance from the team to defend the home court. And there were standout stars tonight, sure, but I like the way that the whole team, everybody, aimed to slow up Vlad the Impaler. That was a key factor in Fort Wayne coming out with the win. Offensively, the Mad Ants seem to be gelling, and you can just see when this team is on the same page. And they gave us a peek of how deadly they could be on offense tonight. And that's about all she wrote, folks. For Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga. Thanks for joining us on this presentation of G League Basketball. What's your name? You're working hard, right? Fighting? Yeah, but I keep slamming into this wall. Why? I don't know. I, I'm doing everything right. I'm, I keep my head down. I grind. But you're still hitting that wall. So climb over it. 
find your way around it. Dig a tunnel underneath it. Do not think about this wall as a barrier. Think about it as a question. What's the question? When I was a little kid, I wanted a big sounding job, right? Just like everybody else. I wanted to be a doctor, lawyer, president. Astronaut. I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> right, right. But then I got older and my heart told me something else. Words. I loved how they sounded when I gave them context, purpose. I knew I wanted to be great at it. And everyone <laughs> told me that it was impossible because of the barriers, right? I'm a female, uh, the odds, the competition, and never be able to make it as a living. And unfortunately, they were right. Every single door that I knocked on was slammed in my face. But you knew they were wrong. I knew that I could write. But I had to think about why I was being rejected. What were my flaws? Regroup, rethink. You went over that wall. I built a ladder. So, what happened? Oh, uh, it all fell apart. And now I just troll around at carnivals looking for stuffed animals to complete my oh, collection. Oh, right, see, that's impossible. Can't be done. <laughs> no, now I have a great career. And it pays me enough that it's my only job, and it continues to grow. I am a sports writer and owner of Wayne Hoops HQ. Wait, Wayne, that's you? <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I, I read you, like, all the time. I always thought you were a guy. Oh, okay, because girls can't write about sports. No, the exact opposite. I always thought it was written by a dude named Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just messing with you. Okay. I get that all the time. Yeah, yeah, your piece about Ben Simmons' development as a passer, man, I read that like 50 times. Thank you. Yeah, I did feel like going out with you was kind of touchy territory and crossing a line, so I kind of wanted to see how this went before I told you about it. What I do is very important to me, so anything that could call that into question is a red line. Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. Uh, I want to get you something before you leave. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, what is, oh, company oh, on your no. walk home. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this giant elephant. No, you won't look creepy at all. Just tall guy, his stuffed animal. I know exactly where this is going. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Uh, rhymes with ash can. Yo, 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 uh, it's your boy AI coming at you from Fort Wayne, Indiana, uh, all by way of China and the Shanghai Bears. What's up to my people out there? What's up, Wei? What's up, Zhang? What's up, Coach? Hey, Corey Harris, I'm coming for you, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it easy on you, but man, we're gonna have a good time, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be good. How was that? Not magic, but uh, it works. Yeah, it works, works really well, actually. It's, um, it's real. It's unfiltered, you know? It's gonna give me something to cut into the gameplay so that people get to know the real you. Yeah, maybe, but I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to come off like I'm just trying too hard to promote me only. I want my game to speak first. Your game is gonna speak for you, man. I'm gonna speak for you. There's nothing wrong with having a couple more voices in the room. <laughs> Look, hey, you gotta keep your wrist loose, all right? You're shooting too flat. What do you care how I shoot? You're the one with the game card. I know, I know, I know. Look, one more time, okay? Wrist loose, elbow in. Woo! That's right, baby. Feels good, right? It does. Hey, so, um, you think I screwed up with Nikki? What, on that date? Yeah. I think that she thinks I'm nervous around her now since she's a reporter. Are you nervous? <laughs> That's not me. Ice water veins, remember? It's not like she's in my head all the time or anything like that. Wow. It's the unflappable AI finally getting butterflies. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. It's just, it's kind of like what Paul was saying about the city. Like, I've had girlfriends before, but not like this. Something about her just makes me feel like I'm home. What? 
We open on the two of you driving through Amish country. You're going through one of those covered bridges. New idea. Yeah, you, you, you're wearing those hats and overalls. Yeah. You open it up on the two-lane blacktop. You see those rows of corn going by. She's looking at you, and you can see it in her eyes. That you go, this is good, man. I can sell this. What are you doing okay. this weekend? All right, let's let's reel it in, Zach. Let's reel it in. All right, let, let's let's sell the game. Okay, let's focus on the game. There's no line anymore, AI. It's all the same brand. You want to get to the next level? This is what you have let's to do. Let's keep it at the game for now, okay, man? That's that's not enough. Well, it has to be. Okay, for now. Fine. Yeah, for now. Most exciting part of the G League this year. The NBA is not far away. Oh, AI, yeah, yo, yo. Check out what your boy said about your boy. Hey, hey, man, get that phone out of my face, Marcus. No, wait, no, come on, you're going to hear about it anyway. I mean, it's everywhere. Look, Corey Harris ain't the only player in the NBA. Whoa, whoa, look, look, look. It's not just Corey Harris saying it. All of the Lakers are retweeting it. <laughs> The timing could not be better for me. I mean, I got scouts coming to the stands. They don't want to miss the show. This is like chess. So who's running space in whose head now, huh? Yo, 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 yo. I don't want to disrupt your flow there, Bobby Fisher, but the scout ain't here for you. He's here for the Flying Dragon. Please, I would have heard about it. He's the Heat's new forward from China, and he is knocking on the door of a 48-inch vertical. You're talking about Han Shi? Huh? Yeah, the Flying Dragon. Yeah. He was on the Jets in China. I... I guarded him when he played us in Shanghai. He showed me up then, but I know his game now. I can take him. No. no, no. The dragon is mine. See, this ain't about just showing off some scouts, Marcus. This is about winning the game, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> this dude, bro. You know, guy. He may be here to scout the dragon. Doesn't mean you can't take his attention. Take it. Yeah, but... I can't beat the dragon by myself. But your game plays specifically to his weakness. So I'm gonna set you up all night, and we're gonna take that dragon down together. All right. Good evening, and welcome everyone to another edition of Mad Ants Boys Basketball. Nine. I'm Blake Suniga, alongside Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi. We have a road matchup tonight between Fort Wayne and Sioux Falls. You know, the big story tonight, it's the matchup that goes back uh, to China. AI will see a familiar face as the Sky Force recently gained the services of the Flying Dragon, formerly of the Chinese team, the Jets. And you know the two of them will want to prove something out there tonight. And we'll see if having seen the Flying Dragon in person before it gives AI and the rest of the Mad Ants an advantage but it should be a tough one either way. It's the matchup that fans of both sides have been waiting for. And without a doubt, Sioux City has been energized since bringing the Flying Dragon onto the roster. Boy, when you add a dynamic athlete like the Flying Dragon, it brings a spark to the whole team. We saw the same effect happen when the Mad Ants got AI. The Flying Dragon, we know that he starred in China, but he's now come to the G League to polish his skills with his sights set on the National Basketball Association. Well, you might remember Paul Tatum had some time in the NBA, and there's a chance he can make it back. A, a few good performances at the end of the season, there's a chance he gets called back up to the NBA. Rebounded by the Mad Ants. Well, good defense in the paint, worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is. You saw it there. Without his presence, that's an easy two points. And here is Lee. Han up top. Back to Lee. Pass to Ducey. Knocks it loose. 
And it's out of bounds. The Sky Force able to retain possession here. Still, Sky Force ball. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. And Doug Evans with the slam. Vision and patience. Hanchi showing both, finding the open man. Well, you, you might have seen that article about Marcus Young recently. He's certainly a star in the G League. Yeah, when you have the offensive talent that Young does and are as driven and ambitious as he is, you're destined for great things. Definitely a name to watch in the G League. Yeah, one to follow, definitely. Now here's Ducey. Six to shoot. Roberts covered by AI. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Calderon, back to AI. Banked in off the glass. They're shooting 80% so far. Obviously it's early, but offensively, they're looking great. Costa Han. Back to Lee. Here's Ducey, guarded by Young. Now here's Ducey. Defense is right there. Roberts. And Sane Roberts with the stuff. And when someone's open, you move the ball. Ducey, a huge believer in this philosophy. With the numbers he puts up, you figure it was just a matter of time. NBA teams have their eye on Young. Not surprising at all, given his burst. The latest rumor is that the Lakers have the most interest in him right now. But a lot of teams could be looking at him late in the NBA season. Han, he's covered by Tatum. Back to Lee. Ducey. Outside Han. Pass to Lee. Over Calderon. That one wide left. The Mad Ants with the lead. For three, Paul Tatum. Does not find the mark, and he's made two and missed one now. Ducey outside. Han with it. The shot off that time. So Fort Wayne will take it the other way. Just talking with AI and the rest of the team, you get the, the sense that AI has really started to find himself on, and maybe more importantly, off the court. Having a few games under his belt with this team has put him at ease, and the results are visible on the floor. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Now a timeout called by Sioux Falls. He has to be frustrated by their lack of production offensively, and I can't blame him. Out of bounds, it'll be Matt Ant's ball. And for the Fort Wayne coaching staff, this is what they hope for with AI. Sometimes for a guy like AI who has bounced around, it's just really about finding the right environment. It seems he is starting to come to peace with himself, with this group, and you can see it in his play and in his attitude, really. That can be huge for someone who has the potential that he has. The way that AI has come out firing in his first few goes with the Mad Ants, there is talk that he could garner NBA attention. Exactly, Blake. If he keeps performing like he has and doesn't slip up, you have to think NBA teams simply can't ignore him. But, uh, you know, the one thing is he can't get caught up in that. He just needs to go out and keep improving his game. Take it day by day. Their Chris passing has opened things up offensively. Yeah, it makes the game easy. Ten straight points off of an assist. Um, that's impressive. Well, the Mad Ants were excited to land AI, and he's continued to improve his game since he's arrived. He has put in work and is razor sharp in his focus. Sometimes a player is a late bloomer, and that might be the case with AI, given how he's stepped his game up. Pass to Randolph. AI, he's guarded by Benjamin. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the line to try to make Shots it a three-point play. And the free throw, no good. The AI, he has something that not a lot of uh, other players this level have. A level of experience for playing overseas, taking a different style of play from his time in China. I think that'll help him make uh, the jump and make him more versatile when he gets to the NBA. 
And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle today. And control the boards has given them control of this game. You know, road life in the G League, it can be rough. Getting wins as an away team, it's no easy task. This travel isn't as easy as it is in the NBA. A lot can go wrong on the road, and it feels like everything is stacked against you at times. He got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. That can't happen. Absolutely. From 12 feet out, hits the front of the rim and out. Sioux Falls trailing here. And as you said, road wins in the G League are never easy. No, they're never easy. Come on, Blake. And it's not just the opposing crowds. You're sometimes getting in town late on a bus, sleeping in a strange motel. There might be bed bugs on your bed. Uh. And G League. Oh, oh, no way. No way. Oh, goodness. Well, you can't help but notice the raw athleticism of Flying Dragon. It can just blow by anybody. Yeah, Flying Dragon's leaping ability is what jumps out at you, but he's very shifty and flexible, and he has a fantastic first step. One of the best athletes in all the G League. It's such a, a treat to watch. Outside Han. Pass to Ducey. To the left side wing. Benjamin's shot is off. You know, he might be a little overconfident if he's taking shots like that. Yeah, I don't care how hot he may or may not be. He's never hitting that shot. I mean, me, yeah, I might be able to hit that shot, but he's never going to be able to hit it. Maybe. Well, one thing with Coach Keller is that he wants to impact more than just basketball knowledge to his players. Absolutely. Coach Keller is of that vein where he wants his players to experience life outside of basketball, to be well-rounded men in the community. I know it's something that the players get behind and appreciate from him. Yeah, he's just such a great coach on and off the court. Costa Han. And stolen by AI. Tatum left side. Took him no time at all on that one. What passing. They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Yeah, it's hard not to appreciate all the points they've gotten off of assists today. Just a complete team effort. Now here's Lee. Roberts. Back to Lee for three. Here's Evans. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Staying active, competing on the board. Evans with a terrific play. Here's AI. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot, shot misses, and he'll shoot two. And Sue Falls gets called for the foul. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. And he hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. That'll do it for the first half. Bad ants ahead. They're up by 11. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Hello and welcome back. Third quarter just about to get going in what has been a runaway of a game so far. You look at AI in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, it was a pleasure to watch him steering the wheel in the first half, driving their offense to the right places without navigation with his passing. Everything has been running through him, and he's doing a fantastic job keeping his offense clicking. And it's the Mad Ants with the ball. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Doug Evans. Here's Ducey. Nailed from three-point land. The Mad Ants with the lead. AI outside. Magic called their own on the wing. Back to AI. It's stolen by Evans. Down low. Oh, and a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's AI. And down it goes, two points. You know, you look at the stats, the assist totals, they just jump out at you. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been key. It's just a different mindset these teams have had. He 
Here's Evans. And that one hits back iron. AI outside. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Sky Force. And if you're just joining us, we've played just over a minute here in the third. Now a timeout called by Sioux Falls. Here's Evans. AI with the block. And really a big part of shot blocking is timing. AI showing that he's capable of rejecting shots. And Sioux Falls has possession. It's a 10-point game. Pass to Evans. Roberts guarded by Calderon. It's good. And this is big for your offense. When your big man can see the floor and make plays for his teammates, nice job by Evans. Back to Young. Tatum, Randolph with it on defending. AI. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made seven of those 12. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. A nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. And Flying Dragon coming over from China, just like AI on the Mad Ants did. The two, they had faced off against each other, uh, had some great battles from what I've heard. And maybe that will uh, carry over to this side of the Pacific. Well, we can only hope. Pass to Randolph. To the middle. Here's AI. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists, but also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. Now here is Evans. He's covered by Tatum. A nice shot by Evans. I was never that good at math, but this math is simple. Get the ball to guys where they have the best chance of converting. And for Evans, that's got to be the pain in it. Both teams deciding to... And stolen by AI. To the inside, Carter. Yes, and it's AI picking up the assist. Well, a handful of players on this Mad Ants roster could make the jump to the NBA someday. Howie Carter, not one of them. Yeah, you know, Carter's a very talented player, but he doesn't have a standout skill that will land him on a, an NBA roster. He knows it, but just appreciates the process of trying to improve his game. Something's brewing, guys, and it's not just the pot of coffee I put on. Their three-pointers just keep on dropping. Oh, and that coffee you put on has been great. And so thank you for that, Tim. Look, they've just had a great second half for long range. Things are definitely starting to look up for them. You want cream and sugar? Oh, I usually just drink it black, but thank you, Tim. Inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Well, they're just going for the throat now. I feel bad for that rim. Yeah, I, I can see why you feel bad for the rim there, Tim. But now it's the time to do this, right? Keep attacking that rim. Back to Evans. Shot clock at six. Pass to Jennings. And the miss. Not the best shot selection there. AI covered by Ducey. Outside Carter. Fires from the line. It's rebounded by Sioux Falls. Out to the wing. Now Day, guarded by Calderon. Pass to Splitter. Pulls the trigger. And Trigg gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul so far. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution on the court. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Roberts. He's covered by Randolph. Lee outside. Pass to Ducey. Inside. Evans. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. 
It's going to be on AI. For Sioux Falls. And the free throw, no good. This league is especially tough on big men. They often develop later than other positions. Evans, still a work in progress. And he pulls off the Houdini act to then catch it and slam it through. Stupendous alley -oop. This crowd stunned at the sight of that. Lee outside. Han. Five on the clock. The rebound by Calderon. Here's Fort Wayne. Out to the wing. Pass to AI, to the inside. Here's Young. Soft touch off the glass. A strong finish when there's no way to avoid contact. Young likes those situations. To be able to get the better of an opponent who's all over him. You don't get the name Flying Dragon by staying on the ground. He is sporting a 48-inch vertical. You combine that leaping ability with his height, and he might be one of the most feared aerial artists in short time. And the foul called on AI. That's his third foul so far. And so here is Sioux Falls, trailing by 17. Now here is Han. He's covered by Tatum. Here's Evans. Mr. Ball meets Mr. Basket for his fifth happy pairing of the game. He's five for nine. Pass to Randolph. Calderon. And AI throws it down. And they're getting that lead way up there right now. It should be easy for them the rest of the way. Yeah, and at this late stage of a game, a lead like that has a team feeling awfully good. And the other one bad. To the paint. And Doug Evans with the slam. Terrific feed. This is what Lee can do for you. He has great vision. And he's always thinking out there. Pass to call their own. Hey, you got him. Back to AI. And a kind roll that time on the rim as that one falls in. And so here is Sioux Falls. 17-point game. Well, you figured out it was just a matter of time before the Flying Dragon came over to the States. The numbers and performances he put up in China were absurd. And you just know that a team was going to take a closer look at what he could do over here on this side of the pond. Now here's Young. He's guarded by Lee. Back to AI. It's stolen by Han Chi. From 13, Ducey misses. Down low, AI. The shot misses. Excellent D there from Doug Evans. Benny Ducey attacking. Count it. Don't take your eyes off him because he can make plays from multiple spots on the floor. About three seconds between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Randolph. Inside. And AI throws it down. When he has a night like this, it's very hard to imagine AI won't be playing on the NBA stage very, very soon. And here is Han. Outside Roberts. Ducey outside. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. Well, you got to like... And that's the buzzer. Matt Ants win. They showed a lot of grit to come in here and walk out with a road win. And coming out of Sioux Falls with a road win, it is no easy task. We're, we're fired up with flying dragon added to the team. The Matt Ants were able to stay in control and put things away. And I think the Matt Ants are the type of team to elevate their own level of play in order to spoil the debut of someone like Flying Dragon. Fantastic effort from them. And some momentum being built for the Mad Amps with this win. That'll be it for us here in South Dakota. For Tim, Brian, and everyone here, I'm Blake Suniga saying thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Your AI. So, 
You're the big scout that everyone's been talking about. That's what you think, man. Am I finally walking? Look, Coach Keller might seem like he has a bag of marbles in his head, but the dude knows the game, man. I mean, that doesn't really answer my question, but... I'm here, aren't I? Something's still missing. Look, Marcus Young. Kid can play. A lot of eyes on him, too. What's with you, man? I, I try to ask you a direct question, and all I get is this runaround. Like, I don't understand. There you go. Like the world owes you a spot in the NBA. All I do is work. That's all I do. And I just can't get a break. That's my problem. You said it yourself. Something is missing. Don't ask me for answers you already have. Well, so Marcus has this all figured out, and I don't? Maybe. Look, I like Marcus' game. I've never talked to him. I don't know him. I do know you. People are starting to talk about you. You're making people's boards. Scouts are looking at you. But there are a lot of other guys out there, too. And what separates you? Why should I pick you over Marcus? Whoa. Um, what are we doing right this now? Is, this is my, my teammate, um, Howie. Yeah, I know who he is. His form is impeccable. It's a work of art. <laughs> the rest of his game is basically rec league, but <laughs> his form should be taught in books. You're Big Toonie, right? I am. Well, why is my hand going through you like it does with other ghosts? No, nope. We're not doing, nope. The point is, AI, you're close. Just one missing piece. He did say that thing about my jumper, right? I, di I didn't just dream that? Who raised you? That's what I want to know. Oh, because I'm going to make my future no. children so sick of that story, it's going to be great! Listen, I want you to start selling what Marcus Young is going to be six months from now. Then they're going to turn around real quick. Exactly. See, you and I are going to do great things. Watch. So I'm in Texas right now. We have one more game against the Vipers. But then after that, I want you to... Yeah, uh, I'll call you back tomorrow. I didn't hear you. It's your room, too. You can take a call. Yeah, but I just didn't want to take it in the hallway because everybody would hear me asking, like, Marcus, what's going on, you know? <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, man, I get it. Yeah. Only a matter of time. All right, well, um, you know what? I'll let you get back to it. And uh, I'm sure you got a few more phone calls nah, to make. No, nah, no, nah, I got too much energy. I'm about to go get a run in. You can take the room. Plus, you look real tired anyway. You know... There's more to this game than taking the last shot and getting your numbers. Corey Harris taught me that. Oh, really? Tell me more. Were you guys on the beach, under the stars? <laughs> man, go and... take your walk, man. I met plenty of people like you, AI. You know nothing about me, bro. You think you're special. You think the whole world revolves around your thoughts, your feelings. I got a family and people counting on me just like you. That's 491 players in the NBA. Most of them, like Corey Harris, like blue blood, so everything was just handed to him. The rest of us, we down here, we gotta fight for the few spots that they didn't take. So if the only chance I have is by stepping over my competition, I'm gonna do that by any means necessary. And right now, that's you. You better believe if I gotta go through you, I'm gonna slice you right down the middle and clear that path. Doesn't have to be that way, man. It does have to be that way. And you know it. Even though your little girlfriend downtown got your brain off. Don't you dare bring her into this. Whoa. Don't you dare talk about her. Whoa. Don't you dare. Whoa, 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 whoa. I touched the nerve. Try it again. I dare you. Hey! Hey! Knock it off! Knock it off, guys! You lay one hand on him, and you're benched against the Vipers, okay? You too, Marcus. I'm serious. I don't know what started this, and I don't care. It ends right here, right now. You got me? Do you got me? Yes, coach. Yeah, coach. Come on, guys. I came up coaching high school volleyball, okay? And those kids never gave me this amount of grief. Not once! 
by the way. It's a very complicated sport. Don't know that I ever fully got it. That's beside the point. Get your gear. You're rooming with Howie now. Oh, dude, awesome. Yeah, we just got to get you some earplugs. Oh, Howie, do us all a favor, dude. Go to the drugstore, get one of those nasal strips, staple it to your nose. Well, no, nah, Doc says it's hereditary. It's so. not hereditary, dude. I'm telling you, okay? You have a serious medical condition. And the rest of you guys, why don't we try to act like adults, okay? It's clearly hard for us to behave like basketball players, so let's just be adults. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go hit the showers. A nine-year-old Metro girl has a new lease on life thanks to surgery at the hospital for sick children. Tracy Hooper was given the liver of a nine-year-old accident victim in a four-hour operation. Hooper is in critical but stable condition.